Hey everybody, and welcome to a messy wild ride with Steve-O. It really does get messy. We've got Snooky from Jersey Shore. And if you think I'm just gonna like have a laugh or, or, or make a goof, no, I'm a serious fan of Jersey Shore. Always was. And I was very excited about this podcast. We get into all kinds of money stuff, crazy gossip about the other Jersey Shore members. And what can I say? Snooky is an open book. And speaking of books, I want you to know that today is the release date of the paperback. And I've been signing books. They're available at stevo.com. Only stevo.com can you get the autographed paperback of A Hard Kick in the Nuts. And i got to say, this episode is almost as juicy as a hard kick in the nuts. So if you love Jersey Shore, or if you don't, you're going to love this podcast. Let's get into it. You actually sleep on this thing? Yeah, big time. I got, I like got you it. live here? Like when you, oh, when you no, use no, it? No, no, no. no but I mean, when you, you use know, it. When I'm on tour, yeah, I yeah. totally sleep on here. Sick. I love it. Sometimes the guys look at hotel rooms and I'll have the buzz on myself. And I'm so yeah, that's happy. nice. Yeah. Privacy. Okay. We're ready. We're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Snooky. Woo! That's awesome. (laughs) Your real name's Nicole. Yes. Nicole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but you don't you don't go by Nicole. I mean I do. Okay. It's sort of like my stage name. Like is your real name Steve O? Um some people call me Steve-O, some people call me Steve. Yeah. I, I'm not particular. So where's the O come from? Uh, it just comes from dr- drunk people yelling at oh, keg okay. parties. Steve-O. Yeah, got it. Yeah, that, that was really pretty much that simple. Um, and uh, the name Snooky, mm-hmm. like that, you didn't have that name before Jersey Shore. Yeah, no. So when we tried out for the show... You know, you have to, like, fill out this questionnaire. And they wanted everyone to have a nickname. Ah. So my only girlfriend in high school, her name's Katie, still friends with her to this day. She's the only person that ever called me Snooky. And it's from Save the Last Dance. Okay. The DJ's name was Snooky. He was called, like, the Coochie Crook. So <laughs> I made out with the guy for the first time out of my friends. So she was like, you're Snooky. And I'm like, okay, fine. So that's what I put in the application. That's good. And now everyone calls me Snooky. And so the, the, the application, I mean, it's just crazy what a phenomenon it was. And I remember it so well. Um, and like out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, like me being a guy who started out on MTV, mm-hmm. like the, the, the financial picture was so different. Let me tell you. The, well, from me to you? Well. For, or you to me? <laughs> our, our, our payment. For, right. for being on MTV shows. Mm-hmm. The first season of Jackass, I, I wasn't even paid per episode. I was paid per bit. Oh, we didn't get paid at all the first season. You didn't get paid not one penny? No. Well, we worked at the t-shirt shop, so we got $200 a week. Oh, oh so wow. that was actually a real thing. You guys actually yes. held a job and Yeah, they the paid us $200 shop. a week, and that's what we got. Whoa. And two hundred dollars to me for a week. I'm getting every single Friday. I felt freaking rich, because you know none of us had money like that. So I was like, oh my god, two hundred dollars to like spend at the bar and like go crazy. So wow. it was kind of sick to us. But then we we're like, oh so, shit. Like looking back now, I'm like, oh my god, we never got paid for the first season. So that means you're smarter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, because we got paid per bid. It was 200 bucks if it wasn't dangerous, and it was 500 bucks if it was dangerous. Oh, that's fucked up. And I got, I made less than 1,500 bucks after taxes for the first season. <gasps> um, oh, my God. And then when, when uh, the show came out, when Jackass came out, they said, okay, guys, it's a hit. The, mm-hmm. uh, MTV wants to order 16 more episodes. We know we're going to have to pay you. So we're going to give you 2000 bucks per episode. And that was the point where I was oh my like, God. 16 times 2000 that's 32000 I'm rich. Like, <laughs> oh, I yeah. Was... Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, what, nine years later, you come along and get $100,000 per episode. Well, that we didn't epic. get that till like, season three. Right, okay. And that's when we knew, like, oh, we're a big deal. Like, we're... The, 
they're bringing us to LA. We're going on Kimmel, Fallon, like all this shit. So we were like, bam. Right. <laughs> so we didn't get that until like three. When right. did you know you guys were a big deal? Was there a certain point? I think so. We filmed. So we filmed. Um, we filmed the first season the last month of August, and then we didn't hear about it till like February. Mm -hmm. Where we're like, oh shit, because we didn't know like how TV worked. We thought it was gonna come out like the next month. Yeah. So we're like, oh shit, they forgot about us. Like we don't know what's happening. Then we finally saw the commercial, and we're like, oh my god, like it's finally happening. It aired, and then all of a sudden MTV's like, we gotta fly you guys to LA, and we're like, oh, like I've never flown to LA before. <laughs> like I don't know, I never flew first class. So they threw us all in first class, get to LA. The first stop, Ashton Kutcher wants us to come over, and we're like. So we went to Ashton's and we did this whole thing with him. He helped us like get on Twitter because that's when Twitter just came right. out. So right when we knew then, like going to Ashton's and then heading to the late night shows and doing all them, we were like, oh shit, like this is like going to change our lives. Yeah. It was crazy, crazy ride. And like the, the you could see the difference because in the first season, like you guys obviously weren't known. Mm -hmm. And then... The, the second season, all of a sudden, you guys go out to the clubs and it just, the whole place gets turned upside down. Yeah, so second season was Miami. And, you know, Miami's, like, crowded to begin with. You know, walking down the streets, like, going to all the bars and everything. So it's already crowded. But seeing all the cameras and everything, and now we had paparazzi, we felt like freaking Kardashians. I was like, what is happening? We can't even walk down the street. So that's when it got so crazy that we could hardly, like, film on the streets. Right, that, and that that's when you were in a pizzeria? Pizzeria oh, no, that, was Italy. That was Italy. Yeah, Miami was a gelato <coughs> shop. The gelato shop. And at that point, shop. those those jobs were like... Right. Yeah, but the first season, we were like, oh my God, we got to sell these shirts so we could get our $200. Wow, so... <laughs> yeah, it was like really hustling. <laughs> I, I can't remember well, but was the, the fact that the job was kind of a joke, like, was that clear on the show, or did they, like, pretend like it was a legit job? Like all the jobs, yeah, um, well, the first season we really, really thought it was like the, the you know a real job. Then the second season in the gelato shop, we're like, ah, oh. but like we still had to go. Like they still would make us get up, like our bosses, and be like, you got to go to work. So it's not like we could not go to work. Uh -huh. Like we still had to go. We still had to, and we didn't want to be assholes because our, the boss was like so great. So like we wanted to like make a money and you know sell the ice cream, but we knew it wasn't that serious like season one. Right. Mm. Okay. And, uh, you know, I remember when watching, because like everybody else, I watched every single frame of every single episode. And, and you know, I was just as hooked as everybody. Mm -hmm. um, what, what shocked me was that at the end of Jersey Shore, and, and which I guess was 2012, like it just, yeah. it, mm -hmm. it, it felt so unceremonious. Like mm -hmm. the end, like that, like there wasn't like a grand ending. It was just like, okay, now it's over. And, and I yeah. felt like, like that, it, like it, it's weird. It, it just, it didn't have an ending. I think it's cause it was so unexpected cause I got pregnant. So they were like, all right, she's pregnant. Show's over. <laughs> so wow. it was just kind of like, I guess we're going to be done for now. And then after my son, Lorenzo, I was pregnant with, he was in my belly that season. He's 11 now. Wow. He just turned 11. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like once I got pregnant, they were like, all right, we're going to take a break or I don't know what's happening. So, yeah, it went like that. It was just like done. And then they wanted me to do Snooki and Wow, which is my spinoff. So right. that's when me and Jenny got pregnant, had kids on the show, whatever. And we did that for like four or five seasons. Um, and then that was it for a while. Yeah. And then all the shows started coming back, you know, like Friends and like all the old school shows. And then we were like, oh, maybe they'll want to bring us back. And then they brought us back, and I'm like, fuck, we're doing, like, we're on season seven now of our yeah. new show. Season seven of the we're, new show. Yeah, Jersey Shore Family Vacation. We just started filming. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and Angelina's in the mix. Yeah. And, and, and everybody gets along with her now? I mean, she's drama. I can tell you that. <laughs> but, I, like, I don't want problems with her, and I think she's fun. Like, when we party, we drink. She's fun. She's a good time. But, um, you know, she's she's the drama of the show, and she knows it. Do okay. the producers encourage the drama? Or, or Back then, they, <laughs> they definitely tried to manipulate, which we didn't realize yet, because, you know, like, we're all riled up, so they get us more riled up, and then it just goes crazy. But now I'm just like, go away. Like, I know, how, I know what to do. Like, don't. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like we're veterans at this point. Like, you can't. Yeah. 
No. We're not scripted is what you're asking. Yeah, I mean, well, I think there's, like, strings pulled <coughs> behind the scenes, like, yeah. how did you hear she well, said I about see, you? Yeah, I could see other people being swayed like that. But you know you it's know, coming. Me, I don't like the drama. If I'm involved in it, whatever. But, like, my my thing was always to, like, go out, have a good time. Like, I want to drink, enjoy myself. Like, it's all about having a good time on vacation. So when I'm fighting with my roommates or there's, like, shit going down, it just... I don't like it. I don't like drama. I know yeah. you said that it's not scripted, but is it, but mm -hmm. is it like uh, produced in a way where they're like, okay, today you're going to go to this certain bar after you get out of work and you guys are going to do this. And then tomorrow you're mm -hmm. going to go to this certain store. Oh, yeah. And Back do that then it thing. wasn't like that because it was like legit 24-7. We were on camera for two months straight, like yeah. going to bed, waking up, cameras in your face. Now it's more different because we have kids. Mm -hmm. So I don't like that. Like I can't be away from my kids for more than three days. Um, so it's kind of more choppy. For in a sure. way to like, all right, today we're going to wake up, you know, you're going to go downstairs, do breakfast, um, and then we're going to go to dinner, and then you have this. So they're telling us things that we're going to do, but they don't tell us what to do in scene. We just yeah. do whatever. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not, not scripted, but structured. Structured. Structured, yeah, 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 yes. yeah There you go. Yeah. yeah. Um, you were so deliberate, I feel like, on the show. Like, when 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 you met your guy, his, his name's... Gianni. G yeah, I was going to say Giovanni. No, Gianni. Oh, yeah, and, Gianni. And, and the same guy the whole time. Yeah. It, like, you yeah, were, he's inside. Yeah, you, <laughs> you were like uh, <laughs> like you were so deliberate. You were like, this is my guy. And you took your relationship so seriously. Yeah. Like, and you take your business so seriously. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, you know, it seemed like in the beginning, it was like, wow, here, look at this Snooki character. She's such a mess. Mm -hmm. And, like, you were just so turned out to be so focused and deliberate. Oh yeah, I knew what I was doing. I think we can all agree that it's good to know what you're doing, unless you're not proud of what you're doing. And it's time for me to ask you, do you have a nasty habit that you know you should quit? Because that is what fume is all about. And this is something that I believe in, man. Replacing a nasty habit with a healthy one. I'm talking about trading in those dangerous chemicals with flavored air. Because fume is a diffusive device which flavors air. And it's a good healthy habit that can help you kick the bad one. And they have a journey pack. This begins your journey to being a healthier you. To get this journey pack and 10% off when you order it, you go to tryfume.com. That's T-R-Y-F-U-M.com. And you use the promo code Stevo to get 10% off your journey pack. Now, I'm just gonna say one more time. Do you have a nasty habit? Is it time to try fume? Because I think it is. Go to tryfume.com and use the promo code Stevo for 10% off that journey pack. Now, let's get back to it. Yeah. Yeah. I knew exactly what I was doing. It's that, and, and you really were like, that was all that anybody was, just snooky. Like, you were like the, like the, the thing. Because I was the hottest mess. <laughs> and the most fun. Yeah. But if you remember the the first season of Jersey Shore, they were like, why do you want to go down the shore? I was like, I want to find love. I want to find my Guido. I want to have tan babies. Like, th that's the goal here. And then I found Gianni, and then we had tan babies. Yeah. So I always yeah. manifest my life. That's epic. Mm hmm And um, when did all the, the, the businesses start cropping up? Oh, shit, right away. I feel like I started to get crazy endorsements in Miami, but it was like endorsements where I knew I was going to regret it later in life. Like at the time I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like a cigarette endorsement, condoms, like all this like trash, like vodka. <laughs> and I said no to it because I knew like my future self, I'm not going to want that, you know, like as a part of my brand and my career. So I got crazy things like that. But then eventually I was just like, you know what? This TV shit's not going to last forever, which it didn't. And we had like a huge break. I was like, let me open up a store. Let me, um, you know, when I got the kids, let me do a stroller line. Let me do mommy things. So I, I always knew I had to do something. And I always want to do something. So I'm not the type to like sit at home all day and do nothing. Like right. I want to have a business. I want to make money. I want to hustle because I've been doing that since high school. That's, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. With that... And how, how many of your businesses are with JWoww? I don't have any with JWoww. None? No. None. Mm -mm. We only had our show together. Right. Yeah. 
Um, d- does Wow have a ton of businesses too? Yeah, she's got tanning. Um, she has a clothing line. She's um, doing behind the scenes work she wants to do. She really wants to be behind. And okay. like, yeah, she doesn't want to be in front as much. And and she was, she got married to her dude that she met on the show, but that didn't work out. Yeah, divorced. That, yeah. Yeah. That guy was a kook? Huh. <laughs> Not the best. <laughs> Wait, no, he's a nice guy, but them together did not, it wasn't right. working. It was like Ronnie and Sammy. <laughs> not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah, no, not that terrible. And and now when you're shooting, uh, Ronnie's not in the mix? He comes this season. That's airing right now. Oh, he comes this yeah, season. Yeah, it's really dramatic. Because Ronnie... Was that a spoiler alert or what? Well, I think that they might have showed it in the teaser. Oh. Okay. But um, yeah, he comes and we have no idea... So we're like all set. when we film, we know something's going going down. If there's more than three cameras on us, so you have all, six cameras everywhere. It's quiet. They're, they won't let us like leave the table. I'm like, who's coming in? Okay. So we knew right away that Ron was coming, and he came, <clears throat> and it was just it was dramatic. It was emotional because he fucked up. He fucked up a lot. So yeah, he had to like go and get help and like you know just be a better person and a better human being. Um, so seeing him was very emotional. Is is Ronnie now totally sober? He says he is. Oh, okay. <laughs> but but he says he's trying, yeah. So I give him that for trying. But Mike, the situation is totally oh, sober. Oh yeah, totally sober. I think for like eight, nine years now. That's Whoa. that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Which is crazy because he was so bad. Like so bad. I've never like got into that. Like, I've right. always been, like, drinking, but I've always been scared to, like, do drugs. Like, I'm not like that. Thank God. Can you imagine? <laughs> so, Mike was, like, really bad, you know, with the pills and everything. And it just changed him to be a totally different person. So, he's just, like, night and day now. Right. He's got two kids, sober for so many years, killing it with his businesses. Like, he's he's good. And and uh, you get along with him great. Mm-hmm. Is, yeah. is, is Vinny in the mix still? Vinny's still in the mix. Yeah. So remember Vinny yeah. had like some kind of mental health stuff going on. Oh, uh, like anxiety and shit. Yeah. yeah. He still he still gets that. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh of course DJ Polly. Killing it. He's the richest out of all of us. I bet. Huh? Yeah. He's getting all these residencies. He's had residencies in uh Vegas. He travels all around the world, like traveling every single day. It's, crushing it. How about that? Like he really like like he uh, like it's like Bam on Jackass because Bam had the mm-hmm. skateboarding and then Jackass was just a rocket ship on it. So like yeah. he had all these revenue streams going crazy, mm-hmm. and uh, and and Polly like yeah didn't he sign with Fifty like yeah after he worked the sec- with Fifty after yeah. the second season or something yeah 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 he went on tour with Britney Spears when yeah. she was touring he was the opening act. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's super crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Paul, Polly's like pre- pretty quiet, like doesn't want to like, you know. He's the loudest out of all of us. <laughs> but yeah, he doesn't like like he doesn't wanna, like, getting into it. and stuff. No, and, yeah. Like, oh, no, he does. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's just too busy. How about that? Yeah. But he's the loudest and he's like the jokester. He's like the class clown. Out of all of us. Do you show your kids Jersey Shore? Like this season? No. Oh. Like the old school stuff? Like what, is there a conversation to have, you know, with your husband about like, hey, we should maybe wait till they're this age to show them? No. Do they know who you are? My kids? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm an actress. So things that they see on TikTok, like me getting drunk and like stupid shit, I said that that's all fake. Like that wasn't actually me. So I'm not going to tell them until like they're 18 be yeah. like, oh yeah, mommy was a little crazy before you, because they're gonna know what drinking is by then. Like they're gonna know, but they don't get it now. They're yeah. Like, mom, why'd you do that? Why'd you do a cartwheel off the stage? <laughs> I was like, it was part of my acting, honey. Yeah, like, that's what I do. Part of my acting. But yeah, all my kids were born on camera. Wow. Yeah. In reality TV, they're not affected by the SAG sh- anything, right? Like the strikes. Mm-mm. So, no. so you guys are still working through it all. We're still working, but I mean. Bethany's trying to do the strikes for a reality. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Which, that. I mean, I but, would like but, to get some extra perks. <laughs> that, that's under like the NBC Bravo banner, but yeah. you're under the Viacom. No, oh, yeah. It's Paramount. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. Was there ever any talk about doing uh, Jersey Shore, the movie? <laughs> I don't think so. There's a porno about us. That's, that's awesome. Did you see it? That checks I, out. It came out a while ago. Yeah. Like the Jersey Shore porno. I didn't watch it, but the boys did. And they said it's just so stupid. Wow. It, just like everyone just going at it. Yeah. But they like kind of look like us, so it's creepy. <laughs> wow. Are you pulling it up? <laughs> yeah, um, put in the Jersey Shore porno. So, the... Like, you say that you like to go out and drink and stuff. Like, how many of the Jersey Shore cast members, like, even drink at all now? Well, look, all of us girls definitely do. Um, Vinny likes to drink, but not with us. So, like, after we're done filming, he'll, like, go to Vegas and just, like, rage. I'm like, oh, you're fun. Paulie drinks, <laughs> like, here and there. Not really. When he DJs, he does. Um, then Mike is obviously sober. So, it's mainly just us girls being wasted. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Like a girl's night out. And and how how uh how are you getting along with Sammy? Oh, I love her. She was gone yeah. and then she came back. Yeah, she just came back. Um and she's been gone for like nine years. Like did not want to come back, wanted nothing to do with the show, and then eventually she was back and I was like, Oh my god. So like obviously, you know, we all haven't talked in years, so we had to like get to know each other a little bit again. But then it was like riding a bike. She was like right back into the mix, like she never left. Right. And what was she doing over the nine years? Um, running her store. She has a store. So just running her store. Um, she met a new guy, which she's definitely going to marry. He's definitely going to propose. Um, so, yeah, she's just, like, living. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Ronnie's just been blowing it. He, he's, in the past, he blew it really Good. bad. I think he's really trying to work on himself, but time will tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you guys filmed the first season and it aired, what what do your guys' parents think about all of this? Like you guys acting like a drunk mess. That's what I was worried about. Right when I walked into the house, I said, my dad's going to kill me. Yeah. Because I knew he was going to see all the shit that I do. Because I've done it before I got to the house, you know? Like I just like to have a good time and like, you know, at the time, like meet guys and mingle and make friends. So I knew he was going to see trash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was he? Were they upset? No, I mean my mom was more judgy because my mom's like more like the the sweetheart. Like Nicole, you shouldn't be doing this. She didn't even want me to go on the show because I was missing school. Yeah. But my dad was just like, Nick, go have a good time. Maybe you'll make some money. Like, so <laughs> I, I feel like I'm my mom and my dad half and half with personality. So yeah. my mom was more like, why'd you do that? And then my dad was like, you're fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so. have, have your parents gotten pulled into the shows? Yeah, they were on the show. Yeah, back in the day. Um, and they're here and there with this show, you know, like watching the kids or like, I have to like talk to them, but yeah, back in the day they were on the show. Like when I got arrested, I had to call my dad and tell him I got arrested. I, I and that's think... the only time that he was really mad. Wow. <laughs> um, and are then, are your parents involved in all your business stuff? They used to be. Uh huh. Yeah. They used to be like when the, fr then when the show first started, <clears throat> because you know, I never like had money before. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. So it was kind of like I was like 15 and they were like taking over everything. So I'm glad they did that because they knew where to put it, you know, like retirement and this and investing. So they did that up until um, I got pregnant at like 24. And that's when I was like, all right, guys, I think I need to take over because I'm going to be a parent. Wow. So then I did that. And, and what did taking over look like? You want to talk about taking control of your business? Then it's time to talk about ShipStation because that is how I sell everything online and it is how you can make money off of your audience that you've worked so hard to build get them what they need man doesn't matter if you're selling on amazon ebay etsy your own website it brings it all into one interface as well as all of the different shipping services with the best rates that you can get and when we get an order what do we do we print it out and then it comes out, we slap it on the book. This is how we're selling books, man. My paperback came out today and I sign every single copy. And as soon as the order comes in, 
print the label, slap it on the box, get it out the door. We got happy customers and we're making money and so will you. And you can try this service absolutely for free, 60 day risk free trial for ShipStation. If you go to ShipStation.com and use the promo code Stevo. Again, risk-free, 60 days, hassle-free. It's time to make ship happen. So try it out by going to ShipStation.com and using the promo code Stevo. Now let's get back to it. Chaos. I had to like hire a financial <laughs> manager. I was like, I still don't know what I'm doing, but I want to right. be in control of it. So I just like hired a team to help. Okay. So. I wonder if I should do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, do you save money or are you I a do. spender? Uh, yeah, I'm not. Like, they, Back in the day, were you a spender? No, nah, not really. I would just mm. buy drugs. <laughs> That's spending. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. That, but um, Are you sober now? Yeah, for How 15 long? years. Oh, shit. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you. How much money were you spending a month on drugs back I mean, in the day? I don't know. I'd like uh, five, ten grand, or way less, way more. Um, five. Ten. A month? Yeah. yeah. Mike spent way more than, than that. that. I mean, I don't know. I would go through an eight ball in like a couple days. What's an eight ball? Like two hundred bucks. Yeah. An eight ball would last me like two days. So what's so fifteen days? Fifteen times two hundred. Yeah, but everything else though too, like all the ketamine and the poppers and yeah, (laughs) and all the all the booze. Is cocaine the most expensive drug or (laughs) no? Like the way I did nitrous was expensive. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Why? How much? How much is nitrous? I mean, I don't know. It's like twenty twenty five bucks for a box of twenty four, but I would get a case of. (laughs) 25 boxes so what's 25 times 25 is 500 right or, what's nitrous or, uh nitrous oxide like it's the balloons a, like you give it to the dentist like you inhale it oh so it makes you like like laughing gas yeah, yeah. oh but i i would really really get into it um are you like fried do you have mm, brain cells left i i, did, I think <laughs> i don't ask me that yeah, no, my, my brain cells are actually pretty solid. Oh, good. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we, we did a brain scan, and he has a younger brain than I do. Really? How is that possible? I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> not, yeah, all my drugs and, and bashing my head. Oh, Maybe my they God. Pretty, what's the worst hangover you've ever had on TV? Do you, can you recall, like, a, like you yeah. wake up, like, the camera's in your face, and you're just... Yeah, I just, I woke up, and I just felt like shit. And, like, back in the day, like, I could drink, and, like, it won't be that bad. Like, now my hangovers are terrible. I have like four glasses of wine. I can't move the next day. Um, but back in the day, yeah, they would have to, I would say, I need to go to the hospital. I need an IV. I was like, because we were drinking like two weeks straight. And like yeah. at one uh, you wake up and then you start shaking. I'm like, oh my God, what is happening? Because I'm, I'm not used to drinking like like that. So I would have to go to the hospital. Like I literally have alcohol shakes and I'm so dehydrated. I got like four bags of IV and I had to like stay there for a little bit. So me and Gina usually do that back in the day and i probably did it like three times <laughs> yeah that's was delirium it? tremens yeah when like no this- sleeping drinking all the time the stress of filming being homesick yeah so it wasn't how, great how much of uh, of your business is um like branded posting on instagram and stuff like from other yeah, companies like, like you got to get paid a ton to post on Instagram. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, I don't do it often, though, because I don't want to look like a sellout. And I don't right. want my feed to be like that. So, like, right. if you're going to pay me, pay me, I'll do it. But if, like, you're not, if you're going to, eh, I, just, right. I say no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have, like my feed to be like that. Yeah, I don't have any of that stuff in my Instagram, unless it's me selling my own stuff. Right. I do yeah. that all the time. <clears throat> like, like, like hot sauce. Oh yeah, like hot sauce <laughs> that you can, can get I on some? Amazon. Yeah, we, we brought you Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole. It. You put it on your butthole? I have, but but it's more for coming out of your butthole. Oh shit! It, I mean, it's not like <laughs> super <laughs> it's not hot. Great. It's available on Amazon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, I'll put you on my story. Oh wow! I got seventeen million a, followers. That's, that's, what do you got? That's amazing. I just hit seven million. Oh shit! How does that I make know. you feel, there. Steve? <laughs> I'm not. I'm no Almost snucky. Almost there. <laughs> I'm no. I'm no. I'm no snucky. It's, yeah. it's pretty pretty incredible. It is. It really is. I don't is. know. All my neighbors are texting me. Oh, well, I love it. Steve was here. <laughs> I've, I've got a pretty loud tour bus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
I, I don't I don't know uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, 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 gotta, I gotta pump it up. Um, well, what I, do you share? I have, you got to show your butthole with this coming out. Yeah, oh, he does. I, wonder, <laughs> I think that that uh, I just haven't posted enough. But oh yeah, I, you gotta keep up with it. Yeah, I, I recently yeah. kind of have been building out my media department, and uh, we've got like you have a media department. Well, I'm sort of. Yeah, like uh, because he has I, a we team do this working podcast. on it now. Oh, we see, I don't someone, have that. Yeah, we we hired someone to do just the shorts for the podcast, mm. and then now I've got people working on the social media, and we just had a, a like a, our first scheduling meeting where we actually scheduled out like the the whole month, like what awesome. Oh, that's good. Go that's usually so, yeah. what influencers do. Yeah, I think it's yeah. gonna. I You're gonna be I'm, an influencer. I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be up there soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um. The uh, okay. So so you you told you told us about you, you have a store. Walk mm-hmm. us through all of your businesses. Yeah. So my store is my main one, just because I'm not gonna do TV forever. I feel well, I want to, but like I said, you never know. So right. I want to have my store. So I have three stores. Um, and then I want like a fourth one, I think in Florida or something. Um, what's the store called? The Snooky shop. The Snooky yeah. shop. So it's basically you walk in and you're just shopping my closet. So like leopard bling. I feel like that um, could be a show right there. I know. Yeah. I was pitching it and. Are you wearing anything from it? your, sh- well, obviously from your closet. Well, but. yeah, my shorts are from the Snooky shop. Um, this is, no, no, this is BB. Just my shorts for now. Um, cause I don't have my full closet here. It's my short house. But, um, Do you have online? Yeah, online. So the, the Kill it shop. online, yeah. What's the website? TheSnookyShop.com. TheSnookyShop.com. Yeah. It's all very simple. You can find me yeah. anywhere. And yeah. I actually have a truck like this. Well, not like this. Right. But it's like a, um, it's like a food truck, okay. but I turned it into my shop on wheels. So Good. like people could rent it out for their parties. Um, or that's like cool. if I don't, yeah, if I don't have a place. Yeah, that's my store. Look at the little, little onesies for Snooky. Um, yeah. so when people order from your online store, mm-hmm. how, how does the order get fulfilled? At my store in Madison or like all my stores can ship, but usually it's my store in Madison, which is like five minutes away from my house. So I literally wake up and that's my job every day. I go there and I make sure all the orders are done. Like I have a team obviously, but I like to oversee everything. So I'm always like going in there making sure the store looks good, answering emails. Like this is like, I'm a boutique owner. Wow. So that's literally what I do every single day. So people can get a hold of you. Do they know it's Snooky when they're doing a customer service email? Um, no, because that's not that. That's not that email. But um, no, they know that they can get in touch with me. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So wow. I get a ton of spam emails. Wow. Yeah. Um. The uh, the the shop is the warehouse for shipping out orders. Mm-hmm. So downstairs, I have like a full dungeon. Of like all my clothes. Do you use ShipStation? Yeah, I used to, and then it got too expensive with all my locations. So then I just stayed <coughs> with Shopify. But yeah, I how might many be locations going back. do you have? Three. It's good. Then I'm opening up a fourth. Where? I think I want to do. Well, I'm moving one location to Long Island, so it'd be way better. Um, and then I want to. I don't know. I want to go to like Florida or somewhere nice. Like, always nice weather. Florida. Yeah, and I was thinking L.A., but now fucking everyone's getting robbed. Yeah. It's like, I'm not taking that right. chance. Yeah, it's scary over there. Yeah. So, I always want to L.A., but that's not happening now. Okay, so we've got the stores. We've got the online stores. Mm-hmm. I have wine. Wine. Messy mama wine. <laughs> Messy mama wine. That's... Exactly why I held that's out sick. on doing, like, these cheap promos for vodka and everything. Because I knew one day I wanted my own alcohol brand. Because, like, why not? I'm literally known for drinking and partying. You know what now I mean? Now, what's walk us through the process of that, like the the tasting, the branding, all that to yeah. finally get to the final product. So I've been I was shopping around for someone to do my wine. So I was like, this is what it's going to be called. This is what the look. I had like a mood board, and I just sent it to all the brand people. Um, so I ended up working with Summerlin Wines to start it off, which is in California. So we actually went there on the show, and like we packed the wine. We were like on the belt. And wine bottles were dropping everywhere. We were wasted, like, trying to, like, do it. So I ruined, like, 40 bottles of wine. But um, I started with them, and then I moved to um, <coughs> Notting Point, which is kind of, like, more of um, just, like, a website for wine. They mm-hmm. can deliver to your house. 
So I moved to them. They're in Washington. And they do my wine now. But yeah, the wine tasting, I had to do it over Zoom because it was COVID. Uh, so I couldn't okay. even go there. So it was like a Zoom. And they sent me all these like shot glasses of wine. And I was just like, nah, nah. And then I finally picked like the ones that I love. Um, I got wasted during it. It sounds like Snooki had a difficult time picking her wine. But you know what? I just picked something and it couldn't have been easier. I picked out my new mattress for my new property in Tennessee. And why was it so easy? Because I went to helixsleep.com, took their very easy two-minute quiz, which matched me with the perfect mattress for me and Lux. That simple. And they're giving away up to $350 on any mattress that you can pick from the site. Plus, they're giving you two free pillows if you go to helixsleep.com slash stevo. It is not a difficult decision to make with their easy sleep quiz, and you're never going to get a better night's sleep than when you're on your Helix mattress. So go to helixsleep.com dot com slash devo for up to three hundred and fifty dollars off of any mattress and two free pillows and get ready to sleep better than you ever have before baby helixsleep.com slash devo now let's get back to it but yeah it's like a, it's a fun process to have your you know your own wine I it's bet. fun yeah uh, what a fantastic name for your wine, Messy Messy Mama. Mama. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be, like, classy or anything. <laughs> I was like, you got to keep with the branding. Yeah. Messy Mama. I'm a mom. I get messy a little bit, so, messy yeah. Messy Mama. So, I have, I have Rowdy Rosé, because it gets you rowdy, and then I have Raunchy Red, because it makes you raunchy in the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have to keep with the uh, aesthetic of me. So, those are the two... There's raunchy red and rowdy rosé. Yeah, rowdy rosé is so good. It's beautiful it's, branding. Yeah, thank you. But should we announce that we're introducing new flavors of hot sauce? If you would like. Ooh. We got raunchy hot sauce. What heavenly jalapeno sauce for your butthole? <laughs> nice. <laughs> See, we kind of go together. <laughs> yeah. We should do promos together. <laughs> yeah. Like, and have then, your hot sauce with wine. We're, and and we're, we're working on another flavor after that. What is it? Ooh. Go ahead. <laughs> we're, we, we've been developing a formula called Stevo's Bangin' Buffalo Sauce for your butthole. I like it. <laughs> you don't have a buffalo sauce yet? <laughs> we don't have a buffalo sauce yet. Oh, that's no. going to kill yeah, it. Yeah, we have the ingredients yeah. coming oh, out. People love buffalo sauce. <laughs> for sure. Mm. But yeah, we're I kind like of, it. We're kind, we're kind of, uh, you know, on the same vibe a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Is this in know? stores? Is it in stores? It's in some stores, yeah. It's, on it's in Spencer's, right? It's in Spencer's. Oh, right. We got some stores yeah. in the Midwest. Spencer's yeah. is still open? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, Spencer's. Spencer's Gifts. It's, it, I used it's to actually love right at the front when you buy. Oh, I yeah, love except it. Except they're out of it because it flies off the shelves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we're, yeah. Working, we're working on distribution now. Oh, yeah. So it takes a minute. Does the does the wine have distribution in stores? No, that's the goal. Yeah. Okay. So starting online and then, can you imagine like all those <coughs> bottles and like a big cardboard of me holding it like Snoop Dogg, how they yeah. have the, yeah. the Snoop wine For and sure. the yeah, that's the goal. So. I, mean, I think it's a no brainer. Yeah, do you yeah. Have, I know. Do you have rules around your drinking? Because it's like you're known for a party girl, but you also have your wine company. Like, mm -hmm. are you like okay, I'm only gonna drink twice a week, or I'm only gonna drink? Oh, like personally? Yeah. Just whenever. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I feel like, I don't know, like having three kids, it's like really stressful. And like even just like that one glass of wine to like. Ugh, At night. I, yeah. For sure. But like I, I really like when I'm trying to be good, I don't drink until, you know, Friday or Saturday. Yeah. But um, yeah. yeah I wish I it's could an, do that. I yeah. just, you know, once a week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You and me both. So you don't. You drink every day. No, no I, I used to. I, I, oh, you're I don't sober. drink anymore either. Oh, got it. I'd always promise myself I so wouldn't drink. good for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Towards the end, I remember I was drinking like two bottles of wine a night, but I would like mm. buy frozen fruit and dump them in. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm having my, my fruits and vegetables. But That's I would, like a sangria. Yeah. And I would just be eating just bags oh, of frozen okay. fruit with wine. Just and that's a out lot, two bottles. Yeah. Did you get fat? No, I got fatter when I got sober. Yeah, oh. that's what happens. Oh, because you eat. Cause I started yeah. to like Was it because you have an addictive personality? So you yeah. have to like be well, yeah, addicted to something sure. else? Yeah. Yeah. And 
I, I just think that there's when you get sober, there's kind of nothing else to do. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, you like, gotta hey, fill that void with yeah, something. What, do we do? what am I grabbing for? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what's your thing? What? what? Cycling. <laughs> well, I mean, my thing that I grab for, like yeah, like when you, when you first started to become sober. Um, I, I I put on some pounds too. Mm-hmm. I, I got I got pretty pretty chunky. Um, I would grab for whatever. Like there there's this uh, snack in England called pickled onion monster munch, mm-hmm. and I lose my I like mind pickles. over it. Pickled onion monster munch. I just got a tattoo of uh, the <laughs> the character on the back. <laughs> It, it's it's you would get that <laughs> yeah i got uh yeah i i i i had cases and cases of those shipped from england nice and, and i got i got real chunky on that so that was your thing chips yeah i mean just whatever kind of food sweets mm. i, I I'm, I'm big on sweets mm-hmm. you don't have any smoky chocolate no i, I always wanted like, a pickle brand a pickle brand because i love pickles and when people think of me they think of alcohol and pickles that, I like that. Mm. Um, you don't like pickles when they've got like a little bit of sweet to it, right? Just got to be straight yeah. dill, to dill pickles. No, I don't mind a little sweet. I don't like spicy. But okay. I do like the original like pickle. like, And I also don't really like like pickle flavored things. Yeah, That either. bothers me. Like yeah. unless it like tastes like good. But like it just, it, it, it's like an ick for me. Yeah. Mm. When's the last time you spoke with Jay Wow? This morning. This morning. I said, Steve-O's coming over. All right. I met She's her. She's like, why is he sleeping over your shore house? I'm like, that's not what's happening here. <laughs> they were all so confused. <laughs> um, I met her at, I think, the MTV Movie Awards. Mm. And she was so warm and friendly to me. She is. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, a great person. Yeah. she, and, and at that same Movie Awards, I met Mike the Situation. This was before he got sober. Oh, then he was a dick. He he was not very nice to me. Yeah. <laughs> was he not? Really? Yeah. But what'd he say? Trying to remember. Like, put, pull that up. Like, uh, I remember I, I I spoke up about it. I was like, he, he cool guyed me. Oh. He was too No, because cool he thought he was like the shit. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people said that about him back in the day. What year was this? Yeah, I was like, he dissed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's so embarrassing yeah that's me. really funny yeah especially because I, I like when when I introduced myself to him I was like dude I'm so stoked on you man like were you, you sober know, at this point I, I was yeah I was I was like dude mm. like I, I just went in there to, to give him love and to just tell him I was stoked yeah and and that wasn't cool to him I was like <laughs> well especially <laughs> at like events like that he's fucked up yeah yeah if it's okay well, with you, could, he's nice now. Can we relive the moment? Uh, we recently just rewatched the episode where you got hit by some dude yeah. at a bar. Yeah. How did that go down? Why did it happen? What happened to the guy? Um, so we were at a bar and there was this drunk fucker. He was so fucking annoying. Like, you know, drunk guys. Like just like too much oh, we know. and like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know. But just like, just like not even just like a regular guy, just like a tool. Like, he's already a tool to begin with. And then he's drunk. And yeah. then he's just, like, so dramatic. So he kept, like, pushing us. And I was ordering shots. And I was ordering shots for all of us. And he took the shots that I ordered. So I was like, all right, fine, whatever. But at that time, we're paying for it with our $200 <laughs> that we got from the t-shirt shop. So I'm like, come on. So then I ordered another shot um, for all of us. And he ended up taking it again. So I was like, can you t- stop taking our shots? Like, this is for me. And then he, like, said something. And I was like, you're an ugly fuck. Like, you know, whatever. And then all of a sudden, he just turned and punched me in the face. And I felt like I got hit by a ton of bricks. Did you get knocked like out? Because I was a small girl. Huh? Did you get knocked out? I think I got knocked out for a second. Yeah. 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 And did so I don't remember getting... falling to the floor. That's wild. And then I woke up like five seconds later. And I was like, oh, shit. And I thought like, I thought my jaw was broken. I thought all my teeth were gone. And I'm like, oh, shit. Did... And, and they... Uh... They just pl- played it. Isaac just played it on the TV. They didn't blur his face or anything, so everybody. Knew well, they exactly. blurred it out for the first two seasons. Wow. Yeah, so it was like a good fun night. Yeah. So, but what happens to the guy afterwards? Does he get arrested? Uh, uh, like. Yeah. Well, oh, so bad. Wow. Yeah. What? What? Uh, I seem to recall the 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 Jersey Shore boys kind of. Mopping up and going to go. Of course. Find well, them. Jenny yeah. was the OG because she started slapping him in the face. Like Jenny, Jenny beat up anybody that pissed her off. 
So she she got him good in the face. And then the boys were trying to get to him. But obviously the cops arrested him, whatever. But, yeah, he lost his job. I guess he was a gym teacher. Lost his job. And then his father did an interview like two years later or two years, two years ago. And he blamed me for ruining his son's life because he cannot get a job anymore. (laughs) I was like, why is that my fault? Your I mean, son I'm punched me a, in the face. I've been drinking at a lot of bars, and, and like, my whole drinking career, I've never seen a dude hit a chick like that. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, it's it's so insane. Back then, I was like, oh, fuck. Like, like, I wanted to go home. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I, this has never happened before. But looking back at it now, that's what made all the big hype about our show. Like, For oh, my sure. God, did you see the little girl get punched in the bar on <laughs> yeah. this reality show? Now, would that happen a lot? Would Like, if you guys went out to party for a night, mm-hmm. would the locals be oh my trying God. We, we to got start shit every single night yeah. because they see all these cameras yes. and then you guys are getting yeah. all the attention yeah yeah well, season three was really bad because they knew if we got into a fight with them and, so, and one of us hit them they would try and sue us happened so many times so it was it was bad like and they, they get to be on tv too yeah. yeah so everyone was just using us to get our money and then get on tv so it was really hard to go out yeah i wonder how many lawsuits jersey shore had i think there were a couple for sure none against me but yeah. Um, nowadays, with the guys who are single, is it still a smash fest? No one's single <laughs> except Vinny. Oh. And Vinny's still a whore, yes. <laughs> Isn't yeah. Vinny like a Chippendales yeah. dancer? Yeah, he's in Vegas right now with yeah. stripping. <laughs> really? Yeah. He puts a sock on yeah. his bishi and he goes he goes at it on stage. Wow. So he's, yes, he's the only whore. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and, and so Polly settled down. When did that happen? Three years ago? Four years ago? Wow. Yeah, so him and Vinny used to do Double Shot at Love, where they were, like, trying to find, uh-huh. a, you know, a girl. And then he ended up finding his girl, Nikki. So they've been together for a while now. So he found his love on, on a, a reality TV. show, yeah. Has that ever happened? Where people, the, on and some they stay dating together? show, and they yeah, stay no. together? Usually it doesn't last. So. Wow. And she's a good girl. She's amazing. That, that that's great mm-hmm. and uh and mike the situation was on uh some marriage show is that right marriage boot camp yeah yeah mike did that angelina did it and dina dina's your your girl yeah you love dina yeah dina's my meatball and and angelina mm-hmm. is like you tolerate her well she's she's just a she's a lot <laughs> yeah she's a lot and sometimes she fights with me and then she does it and it's just it's it's a lot. Is she is she like that off camera too? Yeah. Yeah. So that's just like yeah, actually that's just, her. That's yeah. Angelina's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. think you can pretend that. Yeah. You know. Can you imagine if you were like totally likable and everything was great <laughs> off camera and yeah. you're like, oh, no, I'm sorry, I got to turn into a douche. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what are... happened at the reunion with her. <laughs> <laughs> we were all fine. Everything was good. Then we got to the reunion. She goes, fuck you. And I'm like, what is happening? So, yes, I would say she does play it up a lot. Yeah. But, like, I'm not, we're not like that. Like, we don't fake things. We don't try and, like, do stuff for drama. So, I I don't know. She's a lot. For sure. Yeah. So, Vinny's, Vinny's a whore. Vinny's a whore. <laughs> what, what does Vinny do for businesses? I mean, other than stripping. Slams well, dick. Yeah. Vinny wrote, <laughs> Vinny wrote books before. Um, Just out here slanging wiener. Yeah, he does a lot of, uh, he did a lot of spinoffs. So, I mean, he has, like, a, a, a big, like, condo in the city. Like, a okay. million-dollar condo. Yeah. So, he's he's good with money. So, everybody, yeah. everybody's chilling. Everybody's Everyone's chilling. Everyone's chilling. Mm-hmm. And um, the, uh, the TV has just changed so much. It's, like, it, it, it's, it's kind of just gone away. Like, are, are you finding that people are watching Jersey Shore, like, streaming on Paramount Plus or? or oh, you mean, like, yeah, because... People don't watch live TV anymore. Right. No, it's true. But our numbers are so good. Like number one on Thursday. And, you know, back in the day, you would have like five to seven million people watch it. It's not like that anymore. Right. Yeah. So you're right. But um, no, yeah, I would say I would say live. We're still really good at it. But it's not like it used to be. So they're able to squeeze you in on Thursday nights mm-hmm. in between 28 episodes of Ridiculousness. Right? <laughs> like, can you just play us? <laughs> yeah. When, uh, yeah. W- okay, so when you got pregnant and the show had to take a little break, mm-hmm. were the other cast members upset with you, resentful? Like, why? Like, you're the reason we're, we have to stop filming. Yeah. 
Well, that was like personally my feeling. Yeah. I don't know if everyone else felt it, but um, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that's how it seemed. It's like, all right, she's pregnant. Let's take a little break. Moving on. Yeah. So yeah, I hope not. Yeah. That would suck. <laughs> where where was the craziest place that like you've been recognized? Where you're like, I can't believe the 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 show made it here. Like for example, I was um, Kramer on Seinfeld was like it was the craziest thing for me. He's like I was in Indonesia and I was like mm-hmm. in this village, and the TV was plugged in. There's this whole village crowded around this TV, and they were watching Seinfeld. So like, mm. is there a place that like you went to? I didn't really travel a lot. Um, like I went to Spain. I went to Ireland. Only for like the awards, like uh-huh. over there, like for the MTV awards. But I didn't really travel a lot. And everybody knew. Because I was I mean, always like a homebody. But yeah. Um, yeah, everyone knew. I think the craziest yeah. place for with you, Steve, was in uh, Madagascar when we were at that restaurant. That's like, an that actual guy- place? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's I thought that was just a movie. It's not a Disney cartoon. I thought that was just a kid's movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we, had the, we went to Where's this that? restaurant. It's like, a, it's an island off of Africa. Oh my God, that's real. It's real. It's real. And we're, we're at this uh, we're at this Italian place like in the middle of nowhere. And in guy, Africa, uh, yeah. Was it good? And this guy came out and was like a huge fan of Steve's. Like I saw you here on Facebook, and oh, I was so like, "Whoa, you. that's crazy!" Yeah. Um, they have the the um, awards, the European VMAs. Right. Yeah. Like. Uh-huh. My jackass buddy Chris Pony is party boy. Mm-hmm. He was he was at the European VMAs and he was um, introducing some award. I don't know if it was like best video or or, or whatever, but he he goes he opens up the envelope. The envelope says like Coldplay wins. Mm-hmm. Pontius <laughs> says into the mic, and the winner is the White Stripes. <laughs> And so the white stripes get up. They oh, we did like a Steve Harvey moment. Yeah. The, the, the white stripes get up. They're all happy. They walk down oh, shit. the aisle, and then like right before they get to the stage, he says, "Just kidding, it's Coldplay." <laughs> <laughs> That's oh my god. god. Yeah. That's amazing. It's kind of not. <laughs> it's so funny That's though. Fucked yeah, up. like and uh, yeah, the, the guy Jack White of the White Stripes was. I've been not happy. Super bad. Yeah. <laughs> like super well, not. Well, that's embarrassing too. Yeah. Well, and the emotions they felt. Yeah. And yeah. Fucking, like celebrating that. Uh-huh. Aww. And, and, and Pontius to this day has like such a deep regret that he didn't just stick to his guns and give it to the white strips. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> there was so, that would have been so much cooler. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah, no, the white strips. <laughs> yeah. Embarrassing. Yeah. Um, now, how long do you think Jersey Shore is going to keep going? A while. A while. A while. Till I'm in a nursing home, actually. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Can you imagine? I mean, I, it's, it's, I, mean I always said I'm I down for whenever. Happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or how long they want us to go for, because you, you never know. But I feel like we're down to do it for a long time. If it works with our schedules. Yeah, that's... Yeah. And and so so Ronnie comes back. These, these episodes ha- have not aired yet. Mm-mm. Like... Yeah. And uh, it, it, Ronnie's not in a relationship anymore, right? He had, like, the crazy one, the crazy yeah. girlfriend and, and yeah. all the, like... So he had a baby with Jen, who was the crazy girlfriend on, on the yeah. season. Um, they broke up, and then he dated another girl that he proposed to, and then they broke up. I was like, Ronnie, just stop. Just, like, do your own thing. You don't have to have a girl. Because every time yeah. he has a girl, he's in a relationship, he's on TMZ for something. Yeah. So I'm just like, just take a break. Just like be a good dad and just like do you. And um, so presumably now Ronnie's single. Mm-hmm. He's in the in the mix with Sammy Sweetheart. And like, not technically. Well, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. they're not like together, but they're but they're filming together. And so they're mm-hmm. not. No. Oh, wow. They so can't this be- season he only just came and Sam was out with her boyfriend, which I probably shouldn't have said that. But I- I don't give a fuck. That's what happened. <laughs> right. Yeah. So everyone thinks they're going to have that meeting this season. It's not this season. And I don't even think it's going to be this season filming. I mean, it, it kind of follows, right? I yeah. Mean, I mean, we'll see what like, happens. There's so much, like, crazy history there. and Yeah. Yeah. I just can't help but wonder, does is Ronnie, like, still having feelings, 
You know, you can't be that crazy. I could see that. Yeah, you can't be that crazy and not, like, have some... some That's what I'm saying. Residual. I feel like if he sees her, shit's going to, like, come up again. Yeah. Because of all that history. Right. And and the producers are probably like, yes. <laughs> like That, but they also, they're also respecting Sam. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. nice that they, like, see her. Um, but, yeah, we don't know what's going to happen this season we're filming now, so... Is it messed up if I ask how many of the OG girls on the cast ended up with bigger boobs than they started with? I think all of us, except <laughs> Gina. <laughs> <laughs> except Gina. Because I, I always had big boobs. I only got a boob job because I had my kids. And right. they just, like, they were unrecognizable. Okay. <laughs> so I had to get, like, a lift and, like, uh-huh. fix it. I'm actually up on my ten year. I might do it this this fall. <laughs> um, Jenny, she's always had big boobs, yeah. um, but she just got she just got her boobies done again. They look they great. Got, like like she always had big boobs, but they got yeah. like really big. Oh yeah, yeah. She's got like back problems and shit. Yeah, <laughs> poor thing. I know. It's like we're old now. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So we all got some nice boobies. Yeah, Angelina. Mhm. She she got. Oh I yeah. Mean, but, but who would even notice? She gets it all. She got big right. boobies. She got uh, the butt injections. She does it all on live. Like, she she lets people watch her, like, get her stuff done. Is that wow. the mommy makeover? Oh. She's not even a mom. <laughs> She's not even a mom. <laughs> <laughs> but, are, yeah, she likes to get stuff done. Are, are any of the Jersey Shore girls doing the OnlyFans thing? No. Honestly, I was thinking about selling my feet. Wow, because <laughs> there are some real feet people. Because I heard you make so much money, and I'm like, why not? But yeah. then I'm like, oh, I don't need to do that. Didn't Paige Van Zant from the UFC <laughs> do her feet? She made a fuck ton of money. Crazy. I don't have a foot fetish. I don't get it. Vinny has a foot fetish. No, Scott like, doesn't have a foot fetish. That's one fetish I don't have. I just don't I have understand a, it. <laughs> Boob and vagina fetish. Scott has that's a Paige normal. Van Zant fetish. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, she's pretty, hot. pretty understandable. Yeah, she's beautiful. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so no, yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, the, the foot, Would you do OnlyFans? Um, you could show your this and your yeah, butt. Right. Would I do OnlyFans? <laughs> I, I I don't think I would have an issue with it. Yeah. Like, would uh, you, I feel like you've been naked for so yeah. long. But what would you right. do on OnlyFans? Would you like? I mean, I don't bone, know. I, I, like I can picture my bucket list special being on OnlyFans. But you wouldn't like jack off on OnlyFans, would you? Uh, <laughs> I. I <laughs> Only jack off on my bucket list special. <laughs> That'd be people would pay for that. Yeah, it's uh yeah. I made a comedy special where I um I'm in an airplane, butt naked, with another man strapped to my back, and I'm jacking off and fall out of the airplane while I'm ejaculating. Sick. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It just flies everywhere. Yep, it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. Huh. But, uh, I never thought about that. Yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> Now, uh, okay, so we're going to do Jersey Shore forever. The, uh, yeah. the, the, the wine, I read, like, I was surprised to hear you say that the biggest business is the shops when alcohol brands mm-hmm. are so notoriously lucrative. Yeah. So we got to build up this wine business. No, yeah. Um, I just started with this new company, so it's going to just like keep growing. Yeah. So. And, um. What's the, the the distribution model been with the wine up to this point? Well, I mean, it's really just online because they want to test it to see like how many people like it, how many orders we get. So you always got to test online first because you don't want to like do all that work. It goes into stores and then nobody wants it. Right. So we're there. So, so we're so there the, right the now. The wine's pretty new then. Yeah, with this company. With this company. Yeah, okay. and it's two brand new wines, so okay. it's not like my old wines that I had. Two brand new Yeah, ones. so it's kind of like I'm starting over. Okay, so we're going to tell people right now mm-hmm. to quit being little bitches and yeah. buy your wine. So where, where do they go to buy the wine? Messymama.com? Does that work? I don't know. We changed it with the new... Um, yeah, the, yeah. The Messymama.com. Just put in Google Messymama Snooky. All right, and, and that's Messymama spelled M-A-W-M-A. M-A-W-M-A. Yes. Messymama. Yeah. What, what's the website, Isaac? I know it's Notting Point, but I don't know the actual. And you, and you ship all of Nottingpoint.com slash Messy Mama? You could probably just Google it and get yeah. it there. Google Messy Mama. Oh, yeah, Mama. like I said, it's a new website. And you ship all over the country. Yes. 
Was well, it, some states don't get it. I don't know why. It's like because a, like a wine law or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, I think that... If, pain it, in the ass. The, those states would probably be uh, Utah and Colorado because of the altitude. They have different regulation for... Well, and, and even mm. it's like... Because alcohol is a high-risk credit card payment. So, like, I remember, like, fireworks are the same. Weed you can't do across state lines. I remember when we had... Mm. When we bought fireworks, we had to ship them to Vegas and pick them up from yeah. Michigan. So there's like oh, shit. different credit card transaction rules. <clears throat> Alcohol is considered fireworks. Ho- you go to PA, they have the best fireworks. But you, they don't. You can't buy fireworks in Jersey, can you? No, not like that. Right. So it's like, like we go to PA for fireworks. Yeah. 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 Like alcohol is a, it's high risk credit card processing. Yeah. My it, brother yeah. did high risk credit card, and he was like, I was like, well, what's high risk? And he's like. Well, he's like, when, when medical schools need to buy cadavers, mm. he's like, where do you think they buy them from? So there's, like, rules around the people that you where, have to buy dead bodies from. Where, where do God. they buy There's a guy that sells them. And you're like, well, who the fuck is this guy? So, yeah, <laughs> the serial killer. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, they sell dead bodies for, like, five, ten grand or whatever it is to, That's sick. to medical school, yeah. you know? But it's like, who's this fucking creep that's selling dead bodies? Yeah. Or whatever. It's, wow. a, it's an interesting world. Like credit card processing. That sounds like the black market. It is. They dabble in the gray. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that scares wow. me. The body trade. Yeah, I mean, because you got to learn to cut up on something. That that's like donations. I think on the. I feel like before you die, you could say, I'm, "I can be an experiment." Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I. I Unless. Are you, are you a donor, Steve? I feel like people. on on your ah. driver's license, I'm a donor because I think it's like after yeah, I'm dead. I put a donor. Yeah. I, I, I gotta be a donor. Who wouldn't be? Who's gonna want your liver? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I want Steve's I'll take brain. It. Yeah, I'll take your brain. <laughs> who, who wouldn't be? <laughs> Some people are because they're like, my body, you know, I don't want to fucking. But I'm like, dude, take whatever you want. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Okay. I, um, I, okay. I, I went to the Red Cross to try to donate blood because mm-hmm. I want to be a good guy. You know, I want to I help people. Yeah. And, and they had a little questionnaire. They asked, uh, how, were you in the United Kingdom in like the 80s or the 90s? I'm like, I went to high school all four years in London, England. So I said, yeah. Oh, shit. And they said the, the, that disqualifies me. Why? Because it, it puts me, it makes me a risk for uh, mad cow disease, which was a thing in England at oh, that whoa. time. Oh, shit. I mean, I, I, I don't get it, but I'm not allowed to donate blood. So, you're useless. So I want to. <laughs> I want to. I want to go and get a, a full pint of my blood taken out, and have a huge red painting made with it. Sick. Is that cool. That's different. Super cool. What yeah, kind of painting? Sick. I don't know. A picture of a self-portrait. <gasps> no, it's scary. Of his blood. No, thank you. Yeah. All right. Sick. Well. Um, kids, okay, so we've got everybody buying the wine. Thank it's you. A big deal. Did you like? Uh, we're we're promoting the new season. It starts September seventh. Um. Yeah. Well, it's on right now. The new season. Oh, it is. It's on right now. Yeah. Oh, the next episode is September. 7th. Yeah. So every Thursday, we named Thursday Thursday, so we changed okay. it. <laughs> so it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um. So yeah, eight p.m. And I don't watch it. I just DVR it. Okay. I can't watch it because my kids are around and I don't know what I'm doing on there. <laughs> like nothing like crazy, but you know, drinking, I might be falling down stairs. Like I still do that if I'm not with my kids and we're like away for a couple of days. So, you know, I can't watch my kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And you, know, you only shoot three days at a time, then back to the kids. Yeah. Unless like we have to like do like a full week, which they'll be there for a week. I go there for three days. Which means I'm missing out on an episode. And if I'm not in an episode, I don't get paid. Ah. Uh, so I'm like, can you shoot me like home, like with the kids while everyone's there? So yeah. yeah. All you gotta do is just hop on a FaceTime and then you get Literally. Paid. Yeah. I'm like, boom, I'm there. Give yeah. me my check. That's epic. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. And uh, what about like personal appearances and stuff like that? Like, uh. Yeah, I haven't done them. Well, actually, I have a new, I, I have one um, next Friday. I used to work at the Renegades. It's the minor league of um, the Yankees. And I used to work there, like, selling hot dogs. It's in upstate New York, Wappingers. And um, I used to work at the concession stand in high school, like, selling hot dogs and everything. And now they're doing a snooky night. 
So everyone's getting like a Snooki bobblehead, wow. and all the people Whoa. are wearing like Snooki jerseys. Um, so it's like a full circle moment. I want a Snooki awesome. bobblehead. Yeah, I'll I'll send you one. Yeah. Doesn't even look like me, but we'll, we'll send you a Stevo bobblehead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just made. I'll put it in my office. I look at that. Well, that's the old one. That uh, looks more like me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. so, so so life is good, family's good, yeah. Gianni's good, mm -hmm. and uh, we're killing it on Jersey Shore, and we're going to have the biggest wine business. I mean, I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah. I think and then you're going to have the biggest butthole hot sauce <laughs> <That's right. laughs> ever. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we do pretty well with the, the hot sauce. I love it. Yeah, and I, I think that the wine's going to go great because, I mean, everybody loves getting loaded. I know. Yeah. Except you. Yeah, that's but true. But I'm proud no, of you. No, we, we love it. We just can't do it. We love it. We just can't do it. We just can't do it. All right. Is there anything else that we can draw attention to for you? I think that's it. All right. I appreciate you coming down that's, the shore. Yeah. Hey, you, I, you have to come in and just look at my house real I would quick. love to. Yeah. I, I would absolutely love to. And uh, and, and I want to say I'm, I'm honored that we got to do this with you. I know. I'm so yeah, excited. This was, this was a lot of fun. Oh. I genuinely I had like, to make it work. Yeah. We... we we thought this was a very big deal yeah and we went mm. like hella out of the way to make it happen no we i appreciate were, it i'd like just very honored yeah and, and i'm a fan and and uh i'm a fan of you i i think that um I, I really really respect and admire the way you took your approach to it and you saw it as this is how i'm gonna accomplish my goals you mm -hmm. were very clear on what your goals were yeah and very deliberate about how you went about everything and uh you did exactly what you said you wanted to do mm -hmm. and it's it, it's just a rad story thank you yeah thank yeah, you it's all about the kids gotta make the money for the kids yeah that's right yeah i gotta make the money for the animals no oh, yeah the animals yeah you come right. meet my dog rocky i love it let's yeah. do it and thank you again thank Snooki. you thanks Snooki. yeah thank you <sighs> yeah this is so cute super fun stuff yeah how about that? Steve-O and Snooky, the pair that you didn't know you needed, but you totally needed. I mean, I consider her a dear friend now, and uh, I also consider you a dear friend, man. All of you wonderful people who stick around to the very end of the Wild Ride podcast. You know, that reminds me, we got to get that street team shirt going. And uh, you guys got to get this book going, man. You know, when I read the um, the audio book, like I like read the whole book for the audio version, I remember thinking, dude, why am I admitting all this stuff? It's juicier than shit. And uh, I'm really excited it's now out in paperback. And I'm just really excited that you're here, man. Um, thank you for the love and support. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, dude.